Everybody, welcome back. I'm Yumble, and today I want to help you get your game working again after the plazas and promenades update. Since September, I have still been seeing complaints of people's games being unable to open, error messages, crashing, all manner of issue as a result of new mod conflicts or broken mods from the plazas and promenades update. Now, this is a current list as of today, October 27th, 2022. Keep in mind, this is all subject to change. So moving forward, updates may change this. What I am going to try to supply to you are some resources to combat these changes and keep your mods up to date, and also my mod list of current working mods in the game. Once again, subject to change, but this will be linked in the description for you to use, as well as other resources to help you solve mod conflicts in City Skylines. Before we get into the specific mods that are no longer working or have been replaced or updated, I want to talk about your primary resource. This is a thread on Reddit, and a thread like this appears every time that there's a major update. The community takes it upon itself in the subreddit R City Skylines um, to tell you not to panic. Your mods are going to break. It's okay. This is your primary resource. Please don't harass the mod creators about this. They work long hours for free. Support your mod and asset creators in City Skylines. Do not harass them. That It's really mean. Use a, <laughs> use a resource like this before you start a comment thread on YouTube or Discord or in the Steam Workshop and just understand already known things by the community. Um, just good, good etiquette about patch day. Back up your files. Do as I say, not as I do. All these things. Unsubscribe from broken mods. As I said, this happens every time there's a major update in City Skylines. So expect that a thread like this will appear every time. This just happens to be the one for uh, plazas and promenades. Compatibility report is important. It'll tell you upon load if you have conflicting mods, mods that are known to have issues. And it'll also generate a report so you can uh, see all of your mods linked. That's, that's a good one to have. I'm not going to go over the specifics of that, but get compatibility report. Um, this includes a link. I'll link this in the description along with this Reddit thread. But these are the broken and incompatible mods Google Doc. This is updated constantly, and it is full. It, it's the graveyard of City Skylines mods that no longer work. And you will see a lot of very popular mods in here with replacements offered, with, uh, with links to those replacements. But make sure you don't use any of these, and don't take anything for granted. Like, original loading screen mod no longer works. The test version no longer works. Uh, older versions of, uh, like, anarchy mods, things like that. Uh, <laughs> Ploppable Rico. There's a whole bunch of mods that are no longer good for your game. This is a list of that. Um, and, of course, the Reddit thread links a bunch of major issues. These are all mods that, that no longer work or have serious problems or have been replaced. Things like that. Minor issues. And of course, popular mods known to be patched. So this is the good list. This is a list of mods that do work with the current version of City Skylines. Here's a really good move before you start changing what you're subscribed to and unsubscribing from things. I recommend going to the main workshop page for City Skylines in the Steam Workshop. Under Browse, there's an area called Collections. You can actually hit Create Collection in the bar on the right here and make a collection out of your current assets that you want to keep. So a, a real smooth way to approach this whole thing, create a collection of the assets that you want to keep, or if you have certain, let's say you have your favorite police stations that you're going to want for your next build, favorite transit stations, any sort of assets, you can create your own collection just like I have my collection of mods. And then you can go back to the home screen, go to uh, hover your files, go to subscribed items, there's an unsubscribe from all button. So when you hit that, it automatically unsubscribes from every single thing you've uh, subscribed to. I have 885 pages of subscribed items. So if I were starting a new map and I really wanted to reduce my RAM usage or limit the room for error when it comes to missing a mod that's left behind from the previous version, a good way to eliminate that is to unsubscribe from all. And then you can go to your collections and you'll be able to see and you'll be able to see your specific collections, including um, your mods, your assets, whatever you've done. You can see I've, I've got a bunch of different stuff here, all kinds of crazy stuff. Um, but yeah, that's, that's really good. 
let's get into the actual mod list that I've created. Welcome to my mod collection. I am going to keep this as up to date as possible as I have for the last few updates, but I'm always going in and changing things. Even within the last week, I've changed a lot of things within within this list as, as mods keep getting updated and things keep changing. So keep an eye out for that. Always check the mod list. This video may go out of date, but I'm going to try to keep the mod list as current as possible. Um, so before we even say anything about this, make sure that you thank the creators here. Thank the people who make these mods and update these mods. Um, don't berate them in the comments of their mod. Don't, don't be mean about it. And also, very importantly, make sure you read the description of the mods you're going to use. Read the description for compatibility issues, conflicts with other mods, known issues. Uh, a lot of these are going to be beta in nature. They're going to be new and relatively untested to a degree. So expect constant updates and constant changes. Refer to the description when you want to know about them. So starting at the top, I don't think we'll do every single mod on the list because there's a lot that haven't changed as well, but 81 Tiles 2 has changed massively. So 81 Tiles was for unlocking all the tiles on the map. 81 Tiles 2 has had some issues of its own, but it is always being updated and changes being made. Um, you can't use it in the asset editor. There are other quirks and things, but expect massive updates on that. The The other one breaks your game, the original 81 Tiles. 81 Tiles 2 actually loads, so you're going to want to use that one instead. I use a new camera mod. Adaptive Networks is really cool for changing the attributes of roads. Um, no changes for a lot of these. Advanced Stop Selection has a new mod for selecting the stops on a on a given transit implement. So like the station platform, if you want to put a stop on the opposite side, but there's too many platforms close together, that's a very helpful mod for letting you do that. You just hold shift. Once again, that's listed in the description of the mod. Better train boarding, I think, is a really good new mod. I recommend that one. It means that the passengers will load into trains by, by car rather than loading into the whole train as one unit. You'll have to see it to understand, possibly, but that's a good mod. Compatibility report, I mentioned that earlier. It, um, it lives on, it continues, and it can be used to identify when there's a mod conflict. So I really recommend using compatibility report. It'll tell you automatically, or you can generate a report, which will just be, I think, an HTML file full of links to different mods that have issues. Elevated stops enabler revisited. Max Sergey basically went through and took a bunch of mods that hadn't been updated in a while that were in need of changing for the new update, and he just took it upon himself to do revisited versions of these mods to make them work again. So that's really good. Extended managers library is important for a bunch of mods within this list as a dependency for all of the new anarchy mods um, and other things too. Like this is kind of a, a unifying thing for all of these mods here. All the new anarchies, or excuse me, these are incompatible with it, but it shows the new ones temporary fixes, so on and so forth, prop painter, you know, things like that. Once again, read, read the descriptions every single time. Extra landscaping tools has a fix. So this is a, a new version. Uh, the image is the same, but the version is different because the original ex extra landscaping tools is now broken. Keep that in mind. Game Anarchy is a new addition that I strongly recommend. Um, Game Anarchy gives you access to a whole bunch of extra tools. It helps you get rid of a bunch of extra mods. So Fast Return was its own mod. Align Mod Name was its own mod. Skip Intro, Unlimited Buildings, Pollution Solution. All of these things were their own mods. And even these three are the mods that are built into the game. It turns all of these, feature, uh, these features into settings. I wish I could show you that without loading the game. But it turns them all into options within the game and consolidates a whole host of mods into one and then lets you toggle them on the fly. So all of these are incompatible because they are canceled out by Game Anarchy. So I do recommend that. Oh no. Oh no, where was I? There we go. Harmony is important for a bunch of mods, so make sure you use Harmony. And you can also use Load Order Mod to change the order of loaded mods. I know I just said a bunch of stuff, but we'll get to load order mod later. 
Get Harmony. It's important. Um, improved Public Transport 2 has a fix for plazas and promenades, so make sure you're using that as a highlight. And let's see. Load Order Mod. Like I just said, Loading Order Mod. It gives you access to a tool, which is actually an executable on your computer. I think this might be Windows only, maybe Windows and Linux, I'm not actually sure. Once again, refer to the description of the mod for instructions. But it gives you access to a tool, an execu executable, um, an application that gives you a button to automatically change the order of mods because the order that they are loaded in matters. This does it automatically for all the Harmony mods. Get that. Uh, new loading screen mod revisited. Make sure you get that. That is the current and as far as I know only working version of loading screen mod, which is crucial. Must have mod. Just going down looking for the essentials. I could probably stand to get rid of more network stuff. That's more like for map creators probably. But I have it. It's not game breaking, so I'll hang on to it. Pretty cool. Network Anarchy is a huge highlight. Shout out to Cuboid. Cuboid's name is going to appear all over this thing as well, as well as the uh, the other heavy hitting names on this list. But Network Anarchy, new mod that consolidates. Let's look for the incompatibilities. Replaced mods, ready? Fine Road Tool, Fine Road Anarchy, uh, Left Hand Network Fix, another one of his mods. Network Tiling is now built into it, so get rid of that old mod. Node Spacer, Key Anarchy, Ship Path Anarchy, Tiny Segments. These are all um, replaced by Network Anarchy. So once again, consolidating, making things more efficient. Also, uh, a lot of recent updates by Cuboid. Really, really... Once again, support your mod creators, your, your City Skylines modders. We could not do it without you. Thank you, Cuboid. Max Sergey popping up again. Network multi-tool, node controller. Cuboid, optimize outside connections. These aren't new, but I'm just saying them because these people are amazing. Play It is a relatively recent mod that lets you... It, it sort of replaces a few other mods, but Play It in conjunction with Render It, in conjunction with... Theme Mixer 2. Those three mods. Play it, render it, Theme Mixer 2. Replace a few other visual mods that people used to like. Um, Ultimate Eye Candy. I know you no longer use because of Play It and Render It. As well as uh, Theme Mixer 2. So, get Play It. It's very good. Uh, Ploppable Asphalt Loading Time Fix. The instructions are in the mod uh, description, but it allows you to be subscribed to Ploppable Asphalt without having the massive loading time associated with it. Just make sure you follow the instructions. Uh, moving on. Prop Anarchy Temporary Fix. This is for Prop Anarchy to function in the new version of the game, so make sure you get the temporary fix. I'm seeing a lot of the same. Surface Painter Temporary Fix. This is crucial. Surface Painter no longer works and will break your game. Get the temporary fix from this list. Really good to do. Theme mixer I mentioned earlier. Get that. Very, very good. You're Fired is a cool idea. Just to highlight another new mod that I think does something really, really interesting. It allows you to... This describes it pretty well. You don't have enough educated workers because uneducated workers are occupying all the spots. So you're fired, as the mod says. It goes down to a... a balanced number of workers per position per education level and then that allows the educated the well-educated or highly educated workers to occupy that spot so that's just a cool cool extra shout out um, i didn't want to take the time to go over every single mod in this list because they they're all great many of them have been around for a long time but i think i've gone over most of the crucial ones that uh that have been updated or changed or consolidated because of the plazas and promenades update. So that was the list of mods that I use. I would say that I use kind of a medium number of mods, but if you're kind of a heavy super user of City Skylines and you want to use things like procedural objects and other mods to enhance that experience, I strongly recommend checking out Stay Hungry, Stay Foolish's list here. Plazas and Promenades DLC compatible list from Pazar City. This community member, Stay Hungry, Stay Foolish, is always checking on mod compatibility and looking for the latest and greatest. So I'm going to link uh, this community member's collection in the description as well. They're always coming around and letting people know when, when 
their mods could be adjusted and it's actually super helpful. So you'll see a lot of the same mods on Stay Hungry's list as mine, but with other mods included as well. So if you really want to go crazy, make sure that you read the descriptions of these mods before subscribing to them. But like I said, procedural objects users and uh, heavy users alike will be happy with this list as it just includes more functionality and uh, more mods, frankly, <laughs> for your game. By now, I hope your issues have been solved. I hope you've gone through and removed any incompatible mods from your game or maybe unsubscribed from all and rebuilt your mod collection from the ground up using working, known compatible mods for this version of City Skylines. Once again, this is all subject to change moving forward. There are constant updates going on, updates for the game, updates to mods, new mods coming out that replace old mods, mods that remove a bunch of other old mods and consolidate them into a single cleaner package. The it is truly a journey, not a destination. So check back to the collection and see what's changed and, and make sure to stay up to date, especially if your game has stopped loading or there's compatibility issues. That's all I've got for today. Everyone, thank you for hanging out. I've been Yumble. I'll see you in the next stream or the next video.